7,002 miles to Hong Kong. We just recently crossed the 60th parallel here over the Labrador Sea between Canada and Greenland. It is 7.09 a.m. in Hong Kong, there where my watch is set to. 9.09 p.m. coming up in Greenland. The sun in this area just set about 12 minutes ago. Fortunately, I'm on the east side of the aircraft, so I cannot see directly um, the sunset, but you see some nice color in the sky here to the east. And there's our current position between Labrador and Southwest Greenland. Well, we picked up speed recently. We're up to 613 miles per hour now and went up from 32 to 33,000 feet. 1,618 miles traveled from Newark. There's a good close-up shot of the map. It looks like we're roughly halfway across the sea between uh, Labrador and Greenland and we appear to be on a course directly for Nuke. We've now dropped below 7,000 miles remaining on the flight. Three hundred and fourteen miles until Nuke. Nuke is at sixty-four degrees ten minutes thirty seconds latitude, so uh, we will not pass the Arctic Circle until after Nuke. It would be somewhere over central Greenland, I'm guessing. All right. Well, I got uh, changed into my uh, Polaris class pajamas here. And I'm finally going to kick back and watch some movie trailers and decide what movie to watch as we uh, continue over the Labrador Sea of the Atlantic Ocean. And I'm a little peeved right now because it seems likely we are going to fly over Greenland in the dark, which is what I was afraid of. Uh, the sun's already gone down. Obviously, the farther north we get, the later the sunset will be. But we're also heading east, which means the sunset is earlier. So it seems like it's going to kind of balance out. Um, that's really going to be a bummer. Of course, if the weather holds as it is now, the clouds only have a few broken spots. So there wouldn't be too much to see. And I mean, looking out in the distance, I see nothing but very low white clouds all the way to the horizon so I guess we'll kick back for a bit and see we should be at Nuke in about 30 minutes or so Seven forty-nine a.m. Hong Kong time and uh, uh, looking out the window facing westbound now beautiful sunset and sunsets in the Arctic between spring equinox and fall equinox uh, are just incredible because the sun goes so low over the horizon the sunset can last for hours okay i'm going to go back to my seat i've been having a nice chat with the flight attendants but i'm i'm guessing if we all haven't already reached nuke we should be there in a few minutes i'm looking down to the west here below me it, it looks all blue like we're still over the Labrador Sea um, but we may have the coastline of Greenland on the other side so I'm going to go back to my seat and see what we can find here well I completely missed our flight over Nuke while I was chit-chatting with the flight attendants distance goes by <laughs> extremely fast when you are flying 606 miles per hour. Nuke is already 162 miles behind us. However, we are over the Greenland ice sheet now. Unfortunately, it is dark and also seems to be cloud obscured. So this is a bummer. 
I never sat down and did the calculations on roughly what time we'd be over Greenland, but given that we didn't leave Newark until around 4 p.m. Eastern time, I thought we would be possibly running into darkness here. So we are currently at 66 degrees, six minutes and 15 seconds. Uh, so we will be crossing the Arctic Circle in a matter of minutes here. The Arctic Circle is at 66 degrees, 33 minutes and 46 seconds. Tracker 6610, 66, so we have 22 degree minutes to go to the Arctic Circle. Of course, it is not uh, actually marked uh, anywhere unless you happen to be on a road, uh, but I marked it here on maps with me. miles from the Arctic Circle. Six hundred miles an hour exactly is our current cruising speed according to my GPS. 66 degrees, 18 minutes, 15 minutes to go for the Arctic entrance. 11 hours, 19 minutes of flight time remaining. I will be very curious to see how far north we get on this flight. I'm guessing it will probably be the farthest north I have ever been on Earth. On land, my record is 71 degrees, I believe, in uh, Prudhoe Bay, Alaska. Although, I may have topped that when I went to Alulasat, Alula Greenland a year and a half ago. Okay, so the flight computer says 596 miles per hour, so my GPS is uh, only off by... Just a couple miles an hour. I'm getting a 593 reading now. And here's our position. We're much farther south in Greenland than I expected we would be. Often this uh, flight goes almost due north here, way over northwest Canada, and then up and around near the North Pole and, and back down heading south. 6,505 miles until Hong Kong. We are now four minutes from crossing into the Arctic. It's a shame we can't actually see any of the Arctic. Let's get the coordinates up here. 66.31.45 two minutes to go. Sixty-three, and boom, that's it. We just crossed the Arctic Circle, 7.58 a.m. Hong Kong time. And here in Greenland, let me check my world clock. 9.58 p.m. Uh, welcome to the Arctic.